Hello to everyone. I hope you are coping well with these challenging times that have changed the way we work, study and meet. For Diplo Foundation, the COVID-19 did not bring major changes in the way how we work, since Diplo has been an online organization from the very start. When we think about the recent period, it's astonishing to realize what the shift to online events does. The way we meet, discuss and deal with conflicts has changed significantly over the last three months. Since the start of COVID crisis, we at Diplo have been trying to help small organizations, countries and big actors to make transition towards online meetings and online discussions. Just a few days into the crisis, we set up the ConfTech Lab as our just-in-time response to the growing demand for help from individuals and organizations in regard to shift to online work. Our Conference Tech Lab, or ConfTech Lab for short, developed several resources on how to shift from on-site to online meetings. One of these resources is a detailed overview of over 20 online meeting platforms. Uh, plus guidelines on how to moderate effectively and uh, tips and tricks on how to make online meetings efficient and effective. We also developed and ran a series of webinars that focus on this shift uh, from on-site to online. An urgent need for a new set of skills and knowledge on online meetings has emerged in this period. That is why we delivered an online course on online meetings for diplomacy and global governance. The course centered around technological, behavioral, security, moderation and diplomatic aspects of online meetings. Over 30 diplomats and participants from various stakeholder groups have completed the course successfully. The last few months pushed us to accelerate our work on two main axes. Digital as a topic where we dealt with various internet governance issues and digital as a tool where we focused on online meetings for global governance. The current situation did not disrupt our regular work. In addition to quantitative and qualitative analysis, our AI and data lab has continued to support both researchers and our webinars. An additional part of our activities was focused on training different artificial intelligence models and applying them to various aspects of our work. Data governance is at the core of the Road to Burn via Geneva Dialogues. Ahead of the UN World Data Forum, which will take place later this year in Bern, the permanent mission of Switzerland to the UN in Geneva and other Geneva-based organizations have launched a series of dialogues on data governance, which at the end of the process will constitute the Geneva contribution to the UN World Data Forum. Digital Watch has been covering a variety of IG issues. Our Digital Watch Observatory continued its work on the monthly briefings as well as the newsletter. In June, we will celebrate the 50th edition of the newsletter and we will launch the new Digital Watch portal. We also took some time to dedicate to research on the following topics, the .org sale, digital health, digital and environment, and we also mapped out the relationship between COVID-19 and digital technologies. We also dedicated efforts to reports from the Open-Ended Working Group and UNCTAD's eWeek. During these online discussions, we covered issues such as a growing pressure on internet infrastructure, new cybersecurity risks, and online learning opportunities. At the beginning of this year, we have started a big project with the Swiss government, uh, the Geneva Dialogue on the Responsible Behavior in Cyberspace, where we tried to gather the global industry to discuss uh, how to secure their digital products and services. Uh, and one of the milestones of this project was supposed to be a big event in Geneva. And then the pandemic has uh, changed everything, so we had to turn the uh, originally uh, the, the in-situ event into online series of online uh, gatherings, which um, uh, interestingly ended up uh, quite useful, maybe even more than an event. During the pandemics, we have uh, realized that there are new threats which are coming um, caused by the COVID uh, context. For instance, the phishing emails which were luring people to uh, open the uh, infected attachment because of the information about COVID or the cyber attacks against the hospitals uh, and so on. So we gathered the um, experts to um, deliver a webinar and discuss what are the, these new threats uh, and provide a, a short video to explain to everyone uh, what they can expect from the COVID and after when it comes to cybersecurity. Our Creative Lab contributed to conveying key points and messages of the tackled IG issues. So what the Creative Lab did was create very short but effective visual narrative 
to draw the participants immediately into the topics involved. And this culminated in creating an online-only Zoom exhibition for the Future Meetings Conference, which of course was a huge adventure. We had human rights communities start a series of online meetings. We have launched a, a Right On initiative together with a couple of partners in order to maintain discussions on human rights issues such as women's rights and the rights of older persons. However, a number of our webinars also discussed uh, digital issues, including contact tracing, but also uh, the rise of um, fake news and online hate speech, as well as inequality and discrimination during the COVID time. When the pandemic hit, Diplo immediately looked at some of the digital policy aspects of the discussion. Very soon, our focus went on digital contact tracing. We provided and conducted a mapping of all countries that currently have a digital tracing app at use. We looked and compared aspects such as what is the legal basis? Do these countries go in the centralized or decentralized way? How is the data stored? And so on and so forth. This is a very fast evolving resource that kind of be, uh, is updated day to day. Now, after the immediate firefighting and helping organizations to ensure business continuity in their work, we're moving to the new normality or future of hybrid meetings where combinations of in situ and online meetings will determine uh, the way we deal with the conflicts and uh, future cooperation. The future of meetings is the future of global governance and diplomacy.